Hi everyone and welcome to MD Trash tutorial list. Today, before we start performing analysis with MD Trash, I wanted to stress more on the atom selection language of MD Trash because it's quite important and quite powerful. So I would like to show you some examples on how we can select from our structures and how to manage the atom selection language in MD Trash. So I will start importing MD Trash again into my environment. And then from the previous video, we had a dummy trajectory and dummy PDB just for the sake of the tutorial as an example. So I will load them. And the first thing we will learn is that we can use the function trudge in atoms and trudge in residues in order to know some information about the, the, the trajectory. So if I told Python or MD trudge print this string, how many atoms? and tell me the number of atoms using this function and the same for how many residues and let's see what will happen so it will tell me that you have 65,000 atoms and around 20,000 residues and this simple uh, percentage is it's kind of python token that used to insert or format strings into a function so if you write a string and then you write the simple and then you can pass anything behind the percentage symbol. So in our case, it will print this string and then we can pass the number of atoms calculated by this function. Okay, cool. And as we learned in the previous video, we can subselect from our trajectory. This is because a trajectory protein solvated in some solvent but we might be interested in selecting only the protein. So we can create a new variable called protein cell. And then from our traj topology select, we can select protein from the trajectory. So we'll select a protein from the topology of the trajectory here. And then we can create another trajectory called traj2 by slicing the, the, the part of the trajectory corresponding to the topology, corresponding to the protein. So let's run it and see what will happen. Okay, then we can repeat uh, the same function here, but for trash2, which is only protein, and see what will happen. Okay, so you see the number of atoms decreased because it is the only the, the number of atom uh, of protein atoms here and also the number of, uh, of residues because it considered a solvent molecule, each solvent molecule as residue. So again, what I did simply because we explained this last time, I don't want to stress again on that. I just select from my topology only the protein and sliced from the first trajectory the the part which is corresponding to my selection, which is protein, and I assigned it into another variable called trash2, and then I asked it in the trash to tell me what is the number of atoms and what is the number of residues. Okay, and the topology and trajectory contain all the connectivity information of our system. So we can ask the topology and trajectory to get more information about, about our structure. So let's create a, a, a variable called topology. And I want to create it, uh, I mean, I wanted to create it like whatever x or let's keep it topology because I wrote a script based on that but I mean don't confuse this uh, dot topology with the name of variable so if I print the topology it will say that you have one chain 389 residues and uh, five, mm, 5,900 atoms uh, and 6,000 bond etc so you can get information about your structure by just using dot topology so i'm asking in what is the topology of my trajectory what what if we make it traj one which was everything including the protein it will say we have four chains and twenty thousand atoms because the three chains are for the solvent and one chain for the protein cool so we can get some information using the topology function so i will get back into the name of trash2 so we stay in the same selection 
So, and then with the topology object, we can select a certain atom or loop even over all the, the atoms in, in this topology. For example, I want to know what is the fifth atom of my uh, topology in the second trajectory. So we can write print fifth atom equal topology to atom number four. And remember that the, the R0 indexed, so if you want information about the fifth atom, we should write four, and if you want it for the second, you write one, etc. It's a zero index. So then I, was, I will run this. So it says fifth atom, alanine, C alpha. But if I'm interested in looping over all the atoms in the trajectory, I can say all atoms equal to atom for atom in topology to atoms. So I'm just looping over all everything. Okay? So it will give me all the atom in my uh, in my structure. So all of them are protein. Cool. The same goes for residue. We can say instead here we said topology dot atom. You can say topology dot residue, and then you write the residue number. And I want to know what is the second residue in my structure. So I will use trajectory to my trajectory dot topology dot residue and write one because it is zero indexed so let's run it it says serene if i make it like nine to get number 10 it will say isoleucine and etc okay we can also loop over all the residues in our structure as we did here we just say all residues equal residue for residue in my trajectory the topology with residue so this will bring you or print everything every residue in your structure let's run it so i got everything here starting from alanine one serine two proline three etc so it's nice way to inspect your structure or see what is the sequence or whatever what is the, the pdb uh, content okay if we sum up everything, we can make MBIT rush talk. I want to know some information about the atom number 10. So I wrote this. Hi, I am the 11th atom and my name is a token here. I am a token atom with a token bonds. I am part of a token residue. And I will pass for each token for the first one. I am the, the atom name. My name is so we will use atom.name and then I am uh, atom element name and then atom number of bones atom residue name so just for fun here and then we will see what's going on okay so it will say hi I am the 11th atom and my name is C I am a carbon atom with three bones I am a part to I'm a part of an alanine residue I just made it from the tutorial here because I want to show you the different information you can st extract from your uh, topology object. So topology object contain all the information that you need to know about your structure. It contain the name, the element name, which is carbon, the number of bonds and the residue name. So this was a quick uh, overview of the powerful atom selection language in MDTRAJ. And then we can easily start analyzing a dummy trajectory by performing RMSD and RMSF and this will be the topic of the next video. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any question write in the comments and if you have any suggestion suggestion also write in the comment. And this is the last video in this year so I wish a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you over all the world and stay safe. See you in the next year.